I'm going to walk you through the first 10 steps of Free Code Camp's Responsive Web Design's first project. So here is a preview of the end project. When you're done with this um, the first project, this is what you'll make. So in this first step, it's um, telling us about opening and closing tags. So an opening tag will have a less than sign, something in the middle, and then a greater than sign. So these are from math and you're gonna use them here. A closing tag will be exactly the same, but it will have this slash right here. In, be in between, you can have text, you can have something else, it just depends on the tag. So right here, it's asking us to change. So this hello world is being displayed here and it wants us to change it to cat photo app. All right. So as you can see, changed. Next step. Um, it's talking about all the different heading elements. So they range from H1 to H6. H1 is the most important, it's the biggest, usually at the top, and then H6 is the smallest and least important. Um, usually you'll have H1, you'll have uh, put a title um, inside the H1, and then H2 is um, some sections maybe, and then H3 is subsections of each of those H2 sections. You don't always use them. Usually you just use one through three, um, but you can use up to six. So it's asking us to make another heading called cat photo. So we're gonna do an opening tag of H2, a closing tag of H2, and on the middle, in between the greater than and the less than sign, we're gonna do cat photos. All right. And if you could see just there, I didn't click um, the button to say check your code, like just clicking that. I actually did command enter because I'm using a Mac, but if you're on Linux or Windows, just press control enter and it does the same thing just saves you a click. Next, it wants us to add a paragraph element. So as you can see, this doesn't look like normal text. It looks, it's big, it's bold. Um, that's not how we wanna write most of the content of our site. So we'll make paragraph text, just like H1 and H2, except it has P on the inside. And we want to display, click here to view more cat photos. There we go. And as you can see, this looks like normal text. Text like this, um, but not like this. Next, we're gonna learn about comments. So a comment will start with a less than sign, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and then it's gonna end with dash, dash, and then a greater than sign. So this, as you can see, didn't change anything here. Um, but what it did do is we can add something on the inside. For example, what it wants us to do here, to do, add link to cat photos. So this is just saying later, we want to add a link to a cat photos um, but it's not changing anything here, but anyone reading this HTML can see, oh, this is something we want to add. You can also just um, explain why you might have done something a certain way um, or just add random text if, if you want. It's not going to display here, but people can see it if they look at the source code of the site. Next, um, we're going to learn about the main tag, which um, both helps with accessibility and search engine optimization. So in accessibility and search engine optimization or SEO for short, um, this main tag is just gonna say, this is where the most important content is. So main opening tag. And then actually we don't have to put a main tag right here. We can actually put tags inside of tags and put a closing main tag on the outside here. Oops, there we go. And you can see We've been doing this the whole time. This HTML and HTML, they're on the outside. So then there's a body and everything's on the inside. And so this main tag, um, we're, we're just describing, saying, hey, this is the most important content. Um, and search engine optimization, that's um, a term for saying like, um, that you're making the site really accessible for a search engine such as Google or DuckDuckGo to understand what's going on in your website so that when someone searches for your site, if you have good search engine op optimization, you'll come up for when they search for the keywords on your site or the name of your site or whatever it may be. So we wanna have good search engine optimization so that we can, our site actually um, pops up when people look for it. So next we're gonna learn about indentation. So just like um, the comment, it doesn't actually change what's being displayed here, but what it does do is um, makes the HTML a little easier to read. So as you can see, we've been indenting um, whenever there's tags inside of um, an opening and closing tag. So these sub tags that are inside, these are nested, 
they're um, indented by two spaces. As you can see, those two dots, if you look really carefully, are representing a space each. Um, and so we're just gonna indent every time that there's tags inside of tags. This doesn't affect anything here, but it makes your code a lot easier to read um, for other people and also yourself. This is just something that you should do. Um, and you, sh you should always do this so that um, you can understand what's going on more easily. So I just did two spaces right there. What you can also do is a tab. And that tab actually just acts as two spaces. So next we're gonna learn about the image element. Um, and this is a little bit different from anything we've done before because there's no need to do a closing tag like, um, sorry, like this. This is unnecessary. Um, that's just the way the image tag works. And so um, writing that is sufficient. No images will show up because we have an asset too, but that's not what we're supposed to do in this step. All right, so in this next step, we're gonna display the image um, in this image tag. And so the way we'll do this is uh, with the source attribute. But before I get to that, and right here, it'll just, this it shows inside of the image tag, we can actually add things that are not just image. That's where we add the attributes. But first I wanna show what exactly is this. So this is just a link. I'm gonna open it in my browser. And when I open it, go to that link, it actually just says, um, it just shows um, an image of a cat. Um, and we're gonna just tell um, our HTML, hey, load in this cat and display it on the web page. So we're gonna use the source attribute. So we're gonna do space after the uh, G of the image, SRC equals, and we're gonna do quote, two quotation marks. On the inside of the quotation marks, we're gonna put the link right there. And look at that, the cat displayed. In this next step, we're gonna learn about the alt attribute. So if we do alt like that, and then put a cute orange cat lying on its back, put that in, nothing changes. But this is important to do every single time. Even though you can't always see it, this is really important for people who are using screen readers. Now a screen reader will read a website um, to someone who maybe is not able to see it. Um, and so instead of them just knowing, oh, there's an image here, but they don't know what it is, um, we can actually describe what's going on. So we just said a cute orange cat lying on its back. So this um, alt attribute describes what's going on and it should always be used, but it also serves a purpose if let's say we don't have the source attribute, it's gone. Um, our browser will actually display the alt instead so that someone can know, oh, this is what was supposed to be there even if your image doesn't load. So it's just something that you should always do. And it will improve your search engine optimization, I believe. Not positive on that. All right, so next we're gonna learn about the A, the anchor. And so this is how we can link to other websites or our own site. Um, and so it's just an A tag, opening and closing. And then um, right here, it's showing, oh, we need href. Um, and so this is just saying, what website do we wanna to go to? So href equals quotations. Um, and right here, you can see actually they're using single quotes. Both of them work. Um, and they have the same effect. So we're gonna say, hey, we want this anchor to go to HTTPS and then colon slash slash free cat photo app dot com. Um, and so nothing's gonna display here because we haven't said any text that's gonna have this link, um, but we'll do that in the next step. And that's actually going to be in the next video.